Thank you, Your Serene Highness. Over the years, ADSW has evolved into a global catalyst for accelerating sustainable development, and the virtual ADSW Summit this year is very much a global event. Today, we have over 15,000 participants joining us from 175 countries, and we welcome each and every one of you. We will now hear the first of four sessions on food and water. Our distinguished speakers will discuss how we can eliminate hunger, the role of new technologies, as well as how consumer tastes and priorities are changing. Water is a strategic priority for the UAE and a critical issue for the world. His Excellency Engineer Awaila Murshid Ali Al Marar, Chairman of the Abu Dhabi Department of Energy, will now give an address on the topic, Making Water More Sustainable. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm delighted to be addressing the Abu Dhabi Sustainability Summit once again. This flagship Abu Dhabi has event has become a global platform to discuss collective response to sustainable development issues. And today, as we rebuild our world in response to COVID-19 pandemic, we recognize more than ever the need to decarbonize our infrastructure to promote sustainable consumption and production of essential resources and to enhance our resilience to a climate change. Addressing a climate change challenge is a key to healthy recovery and to building a, our sustainable future because economic of the future is a green, green economy and the society of the future is a green society. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to focus on making water more sustainable. According to the 2020 UN World Water Development Report, a global water use has increased sixfold over the past century and globally water demand is raising by 1% every year. With this trend, expected to continue until 2050 accordingly for the increase of 20 to 30 above the current level of water use, mainly due to raised demand in industrial and domestic sector. Based on the UN report, it is estimated that the climate change along with the increased frequency and intensity of extreme natural event will aggravate the situation in the countries already facing water stress and create similar challenges in other parts of the world that have not been severe, severely affected. However, the report makes it clear that water can be part of the solution by improving water management and water production efficiency. We can improve resilience to a climate change and maximize the provision of sufficient supply of potable water on a global scale. In the UAE, as in our neighboring GCC countries, water scarcity is to be expected due to geographical and ecological aspect of our region. We rely on desalination as the primary source of drinking water and the main alternative for water resources, we need to sustain human life, agriculture activities, and industrial processes. While the average rainfall in UAE is less than 120 millimeters per year, and the groundwater renewable rates is less than 4% of the annual water use, our water demand is expected to be keep growing. For instance, in Abu Dhabi, our water supply mix compromise of 60% groundwater, 30% desalinated water, and 10% recycled water. Only 21% of the groundwater reserves are directly usable, of which 3% fresh water is conserved as a strategic reserve. The UAE is the second largest producer of desalination water after Saudi Arabia. We produce around 14% of the world desalinated water. 
and nearly all of the UAE's potable water, around 42% of the country total water requirement, is the production is the product of desalinated process. Here in Abu Dhabi, we have a nine desalinating desalination plant with a total capacity up to a 960 million barrel gallon per day. Over 85% of the water in Abu Dhabi is produced via thermal desalination. With our limited natural water resources, desalination remains one of the long-term sources of potable water to meet the demand from our growing population and economic activity. While we continue to expect to expand our water infrastructure and build new desalination plants, we recognize the environmental impact of desalination and therefore we capitalize on a continued innovation on desalination technology, brine reduction technology, and the new water demand management strategy. Four of our current desalination plants in Abu Dhabi utilize reserve osmosis technology and represent around 15% of the Emirates desalination water production. This share is expected to grow to 30% by 2022 when the new RO desalination facility at Apawila Power Complex comes online. Additionally, water desalination program that calls for testing a new solar energy reserve osmosis and forward osmosis, those renewable energy-based solutions are expected to be a 75% more energy efficient and capable of reducing the environmental footprint desalination as well as delivering an annual energy saving of 550 million US dollars. Those developments have been supported by a government-led initiative to reduce per capita water use and rationalize water demand throughout wastewater reuse, uh, reduction of uh, consumption, minimization of less and public supply, and improving water use efficiency on the irrigation network. The, waste, the water stress challenge in UAE is intensified by its nexus with food and energy as well as we all know, energy is required across the water value chain. We use energy for water abstraction, desalination, transmissions, utilization, and disposal. The irrigation sector accounts for the large part of the water consumption and withdrawals, and desalination is highly energy intensified process. This essential connection between water, food, and energy in terms of production and consumption should, be, should have been seen as an opportunity to drive a sustainability by integrating the management of those three sectors. Applying the Nexus approach when strategizing for energy, food, and water will improve the security and accelerate the transition to a green economy. As I said in the beginning, water and an international concern and so it required the global attention and collective action about the sustainability week is a great platform to do so and i'm looking forward to meeting and talking with as as much as possible this week to discuss the right solution that will guarantee a sufficient clean water supply to all sectors reduce environmental impact and advance the global sustainable development agenda. Thank you all.